Fife, the executive director of the Waynesboro Family YMCA. Uh, we, we love the physical activity you give for folks, a mental outlook or a mental relief, uh, stress, uh, socialization, but social responsibility is something that you guys take seriously as well. Yeah, it's a critical element of, of the why and our values. You know, 100 years from now, it's not gonna matter the car we drove in here, the house we lived in, the amount of money we had in the bank, but the world can be different if we're important in someone's life. And that's the part of social responsibility that we really want to focus on. Generational change, not just helping people to help people, help people help themselves. And it's something that we take a lot of pride in and do a lot of good work in. And that can get, like you say, passed on from one generation to the next. Um, the wise impact in the region countless ways you guys do that. What, what are some examples you could share? You know, I was thinking about this and you're gonna have to tug on the ear to go fight. You need to slow down because I get so passionate about this topic. Uh, just this week alone, I think about the social responsibility. We've been up. Oh, there we go. I need to stop. No, <laughs> no um, we had a young man, 22 years old, chronic back pain, can't work. He's in a cycle of poverty. That's what he called it himself, because if he works, he loses his benefits but he doesn't make enough, so he's going back to school and he just wants to help. So he's gonna be at our front desk volunteering and trading for a membership. I'm gonna get a lot more out of it, quote unquote, than he will, but really not, not it's, it's a good exchange because he's gonna be working on his computer skills, working on our database, and getting some critical uh, health and wellness program for that chronic back. We had two teenagers, age 14 to 15, that I had day off from school on Monday and still came into the Y to volunteer. They were scholarship families. Now they're paying full freight on the membership and volunteering. I mean, I could keep going. You got to tell me because I got a lot more. No, examples. But you mentioned you mentioned scholarships and helping people access the Y's programming that maybe otherwise wouldn't be able to. How does that work? Yeah, it's a core. It's, it's a mantra. The Y, you know, we never turn anyone away due to the inability to pay. Uh, folks come in and we have a sliding scale for membership and programs. So they basically just fill out a financial aid form and tell us what are they're making and then how much, how many kids are in the home, and then we slot them in. And we've done over a million dollars in scholarships in the past eight years. It's pretty impressive and humbling. And that's what you do it for right there. The, the kids of all ages, not just the youngsters, but the smiles on their faces, the energy they show, and you, it kind of emits just from these photos the uh, the enjoyment that they're getting out of being there. It's what I love being at the Y. I get to walk around and see this. These are pictures from my camera, from my brother's camera. That's a picture of a lady, a senior active older adult that's helping a kid from Winona Elementary learn how to be water safe based on a donation from John and Rebecca that came in and said they want to help teach these kids how to be uh, drown proof and water safe. So yeah, it's great because that's the best part of my day is walking around and seeing the impact. So supporting the Y with finances or time Easy way to do that. Easy way. Just hit me up at Jeff at WaynesboroYMCA.com. Call 943YMCA. Go on our website. Um, lots of different ways to make a difference in someone's life. Jeff, appreciate it as always. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Casey?